Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today in the shortcut series, I'm going to show you how to work with slices in Photoshop. Slices are the most useful tool if you work on web design. With this tool, which you can find under the crop tool, so for, uh, from the toolbar, you can choose slice tool, and you will probably see crop tool uh, the first time you start Photoshop, but if you click and hold on to that tool, you will be able to find these two uh, options here, slice tool and slice select tool. First, if you choose slice tool, then if you have any slices on a uh, document, it will automatically appear. And it's in this case, as you can see, I already have these slices set up. But if you don't have any slices, then you, st then you can start creating these slices with this tool. Now, what's the main reason why we need this tool? The, the reason is that we can save the separate slices into separate images. And Photoshop can even create an HTML file uh, with all these images organized into a table. So it's almost like a working website that you can save out from uh, Photoshop. And the reason why you need separate image files is to save file size. So make sure that these image uh, elements or parts are the uh, smallest file size possible to make sure that they can load in quickly uh, from the web. And also because you would like to interact with them separately. So in some cases, it's good to have, for example, uh, the navigation elements in separate images. Obviously, there's many ways to do this, and uh, in uh, modern web design, it's um, not necessarily an image. It's better to have it as a text, for example, the menu. But as I said, there are so many ways uh, to create a website. I just would like to concentrate here on the technical part, how to work with the slices. So now that I introduced <laughs> the slices, I would like to show you a couple of very useful techniques. First of all, let's just clear all these slices and start from scratch, shall we? So if I want to clear all my slices, I can go to the view menu and choose clear slices. So once I select that, there will be no slices left. Now, let's just select the slice tool again. And as you can see here, first of all, we can uh, change the style of the slice tool. So this is the slice tool that will create the slices and it can work in normal fixed aspect ratio and fixed size uh, style. First, I would like to use normal and with the normal, I show you, I can create a slice here on the top for the logo. Now, first of all, it's really useful to know that if you press space while you are drawing, you can move the slice around while you're still drawing it. It's just like with the rectangular marquee tool, you can use space to move the slice around while you're still uh, designing it. Okay, so let me just create a slice for this logo here on the top. Now, as you can see, uh, as soon as I create a slice, Photoshop will create all other parts around this slice. I only created one slice, but we immediately have five slices. So Photoshop will always divide the whole document into uh, these parts. It will always create the necessary amount of additional slices. And let's just say I want to create another slice here for these elements, for the buttons. I can create one slice, as you can see, and then I can divide this slice. So instead of drawing one by one the slices, I can right click on this and choose divide slice. Now here I can divide the slice uh, horizontally or vertically. What we need in this case is divide vertically into seven slices because we have seven buttons on the top and then I can click on OK. Now, as you can see, because these buttons are not the same size, we need to change the sizes of these slices. Now for that, you will need to use the slice select tool. So if you select this tool, with that you can just select one slice at a time and then drag the slices around. So I can drag them and make home smaller, profile a bit uh, smaller as well, because we need to be able to see the gallery here and then move these points as well a bit further to the left this one a further to be a bit further to the right so something like that maybe a little bit more and so on and so forth 
try not to leave gaps so for example if I move this here you will see that we have a gap there in, the, uh, in between these two buttons try to avoid unnecessary slices in Photoshop so it's it's not good to uh, leave gaps where it's unnecessary okay but once again this is something that you need to think about how you want to divide uh, your web page and what kind of images you would like to uh, place but I would like to also show you another way so now we saw just simply creating a slice and also dividing a slice into uh, separate slices but I would like to also show you that you can create slices based on layers so for example I'm going to select this layer, the image layer, as you can see. If I turn it off, that's the image layer. And I would like to create a slice based on this layer. So to be able to do that, I will go to the layer menu. And there is the option called new layer based slice. If I select that, you will see that we will get a slice based on this layer. So that is also a very useful option. Now there's a third way. Uh, or fourth way to uh, create slices and that is based on rulers or guides so if we start with rulers if you don't see your rulers you can always turn them on in the view menu choose rulers and then from the rulers you can create guides let me just create guides here as you can see I already have a couple of guides which I'm going to delete so first I go to view and I'm going to clear my guides and then I start from scratch and these are more uh, cyan colors so you, you won't be confused because the slices are darker blue uh, the guides are this uh, bright cyan color and I created these guides but let me just create another two guides uh, vertical guides like this so as you can see we have this here and if I go now back to my slice tool there is an option called slices from guides and you don't even have to select your guides this option will automatically turn the guides or use the guides for slices so let me turn off my guides now and you can see that the whole document is divided up uh, based on the guides now the only problem with this is that it, this option will override all your previous slices so if you want to use guides to create the slices then you should start first with the guides and then just run this option and it will automatically create all your guides but I prefer to work without the guides and just use the slice tool and the options I uh, showed you before it is also useful to know when you have the slice select tool selected you can choose the option called hide auto slices now the auto slices are the ones that Photoshop create automatically around the slices that you create which are called user slices so these are the user slices and all the others are auto slices if you click on hide auto slices you will only see the slices that you created obviously if you want to show them again you can click on this option here on the top so hide or show auto slices and whenever you select an auto slice you can promote it into a user slice by clicking on the promote option here on the top so promote and then this will become a user slice as well the reason why we differentiate them is that when you save this uh, document into images for web then you can choose whether you want to include uh, the user slices only or all slices including the auto slices as well there is also another useful thing when you select a slice and you double click on it with the slice select tool you will have the slice option now in this option you can give names for the slices but you can also specify URLs and target modes as well for example if you want to have a link open up in a new tab or new uh, window you can say uh, underscore blank and you will find all the other options here that you need for web design but I don't want to spend more time on this I rather want to show you how you can save these slices because that is an option you can find under the file menu and it's called save for web in CS6 it's called save for web in previous versions of Photoshop it's called save for web and devices so let me just click on save for web and in this option 
as you can see we can choose different file formats here on the right side uh, which we can use for web or uh, web design and I have another video talking about these options I just want to show you when you save uh, this format so I'm go going to save here in the save optimized version I can choose slices all all user slices or only selected slices so that's the main reason why we have user and auto slices because here you can choose these options and def uh, decide which images you need to uh, save as different file formats and you can also choose whether you want just uh, the default settings or you have other options here and you can also choose whether you want images only or the HTML file only or both the HTML file and the images I'm going to save HTML and images and all slices and I click on save and if we want to check this or test this I can open the saved HTML file in Chrome and as you can see now in the browser we have uh, the images as separate elements all of them so I can just move them around and you can see that they are slices and from this point on I can use uh, Adobe Dreamweaver for example to add additional code and navigation and uh, just play around with the design itself as well so that's all what I wanted to show you about slices in Photoshop. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I hope you will join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.